We all remember asking our parents to buy us balloons every time we went to a fair as a child, don't we? If there's anything we associate with birthdays other than cakes, candles and lights, it's balloons. And who can forget the joy of playing with balloons or watching them float up into the sky? This is Now You Know and today let's talk about why balloons fly up and what happens to them finally. Not all balloons keep floating up. They usually come down eventually. But balloons filled with helium are the ones that keep floating up. This is because helium gas is lighter than air. Helium is an odorless, tasteless, non-toxic gas with one atom. Hydrogen, nitrogen, methane and ammonia are also lighter than air but rarely used to inflate balloons. Helium is the reason why balloons stick to the ceiling at birthday parties. At outdoor events, after the chief guest let go of the cluster of balloons, the density of air around it decreases with altitude. This should make the balloons come down. But the air pressure also decreases, making the balloons expand. The rubber of the balloons feel the tension and they get colder with height too. So the helium's density doesn't decrease too quickly. Once the balloons reach a point where the surrounding air density is equal to the density of the balloons, they keep bobbing up and down because of momentum, finally settling and floating at that altitude for hours. If ambient pressure drops too low before that, they pop because the rubber can't take it. Otherwise, the helium leaks slowly and the balloons descend, eventually falling on Earth. Helium is used for treating asthma patients, in airbags to prevent car accident injuries and also in magnets of MRI scanners which detect tumors and cancers. If you have never done this, inhale helium from a balloon and try speaking. Let us know your experience in the comments.